Hello, Go Horrors and Deadites. Welcome to Our Life in Horror. I'm Sam, and I'm going to be doing a review for you on Under Paris. This is a shark movie. It's French. It was released yesterday in Canada here on Netflix. I'm assuming on, in the States as well. Um, it is dubbed, but it didn't bother me. Um, if a movie is good enough, dubbed doesn't really bother me that much. And I watched half of it on my phone at work and the other half I watched on my bike um, because I have like a TV screen on there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you my spoiler free thoughts first. Um, a little bit about the movie, though, to to save Paris from a bloodbath, a grieving scientist is forced to face her tragic past when a giant shark appears in the scene. Um, this is directed by Xavier Jens. He did one of my favorite French films, Frontiers. It is one of the new wave French extremity films. Um, that movie is awesome. If you like foreign films, you should definitely check it out. It gives me major Texas Chainsaw vibes. Um, and it's, it's a little brutal. It's not as bad as some extremity movies, but still really good. Um, back to Under Paris, though. This is starring Bernice, Berenice Bejo and Nassim Lees. Uh, spoiler free thoughts. I thought this had a really unique storyline and as well as setting. Um, it being set in Paris, it includes uh, the catacombs and I always like movies where there's some claustrophobic scenes and we definitely get a little bit of that in this movie. Um, really love as above so below that's another great one um i loved the main character in this i really enjoyed following her story she goes through a lot of trauma um and just seeing her go through all of this and being confident i don't know i just really felt for her and i thought the acting overall was good the cinematography looked good also with the storyline i like that um this was not all set in the water like there's so many shark movies out there where it's just a group of friends that go out on the water get stranded and get eaten one by one don't get me wrong i love those movies um i'm a big shark movie girl but it's nice to see something different uh the gore was good um there's a really wild scene of just after the halfway point i would kind of uh call it the you know, the new Texas chainsaw bus scene. That's what I would kind of compare this to. It's just chaotic and wild. And I just definitely think this one's worth a watch. I did see a lot of bad reviews online. Um, don't always believe what you read. I mean, everyone's going to have different opinions and taste. I went into this without reading any reviews and I really enjoyed it. So I was kind of shocked to see all the bad reviews. I did see some positive ones too, though. Um, so definitely give it a shot. If you haven't seen it, come back. Let me know what you thought. I am going to be getting into spoilers now. So this intro, I really love a movie where it starts off with the main character losing a loved one and then coming back from that kind of like the movie fall. Um, I just really felt for her. The intro was really sad and whatever happened to her ear, like when she had something happened to her ear in the water, I guess from the pressure, I actually like gasped when that happened. I thought that was really gross. Um, I thought maybe she would have gone deaf the rest of the movie, but it didn't go in that direction. She just got nosebleeds. Um, I don't know the science behind that. I didn't look into that, but yeah, I was kind of expecting her to be deaf the rest of the movie. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else thought that, but that was my assumption. And just her losing her whole team out there is really sad. And a lot of blame gets put on her as well from herself. And one of the girls later calls her out on it as well, which I think is a little unfair. Uh, I like the little storyline that they had with the, the car going into the water and the driver going missing. I thought that was a little different. And with the two girls trying to save the sharks, um, there were a lot of little storylines going on in different characters in this movie, rather than us just following like one group of people. So I want to talk about the catacomb scene. That was insane. I loved it um mika in the water just thinking she's gonna be fine and the baby shark coming up to her as soon as we saw there was a second fin i was like oh crap here we go um and then her thinking that she can just 
pet the baby shark and be fine. Um, I thought it was absolutely wild when the shark came up and took her and then just the water going everywhere and everyone falling into the water. It was absolutely insane. This is the type of scene that I always compare to like a USA Black Friday sale scene, um, like in Thanksgiving, because it's just chaotic. There's people pushing each other, trampling each other. It's in the catacombs as well. So it makes it that much more claustrophobic. Like just knowing everyone's trying to get out of there is absolutely insane. Um, people are losing their legs. It was gory. It was claustrophobic is the best way I can put it and just batshit crazy. And I loved it. And at the end of that scene, we get a shot of so Sophia, Sophie, um, and she's just traumatized and you can see it in her eyes. She's reliving her last trauma and realizing she's going through everything again. And I just really felt for her character. I also like the fact that this ended up being a new species. And when they discover the fact that the two month old shark was pregnant was crazy and it didn't need any male reproductive organs in order to reproduce. When they cut it open, it was super gross. All the gross stuff coming out. Um, and just knowing that if they don't take care of this soon, there's going to be a lot of sharks. When the police are going to the water and the military is saying that they are taking over um, and then the police end up going underwater and when they're shining the red light and all the sharks are above them, that was super freaky too. And finally, we have that scene with all the swimmers. That is another big, big bang in the movie. Um, I really loved the shot of you see all the swimmers just swimming and then one by one in the back just getting taken down. I really like that scene too. I also forgot to mention um, Adil, I believe his name was, the, the main male actor in this movie. His character started off, well, first I thought he was hot. And, and then I was like, oh, he's kind of a dick. So I wasn't really liking him all that much. But he really redeems himself. And you can see the chemistry between the two for sure. Um, unfortunately for them, though, this does not have a very happy ending, um, which I appreciate, though. I love when there's a dark ending. Uh, when all of those, I don't know if they're grenades or bombs or what, but when they all started going off all over Paris, I thought that was wicked. Um, and of course, the whole place gets flooded and the deal ends up being like, is it over? And it's like, nah, it's just starting. And I guess with the ending, we can just kind of take it as they probably got an eaten. They probably got eaten, um, and probably didn't make it out because I think it was pretty much impossible to make it out of that situation. There's absolutely nowhere for them to swim at this point. Everything is flooded. Uh, we see even the subway stations are flooded, and you see the the sharks swimming. Like there's there's no way they're getting out of that. I'm. Um, I guess maybe there could be a sequel because of the way they ended it, but. I don't know. I think the way they ended it is fine. I think to leave it up to your imagination works for some movies. And this is sort of the type of movie that it works for. Um, but yeah, overall, I really did enjoy this movie. I am a sucker for all shark movies, pretty much. Uh, even the cheesy ones. But this one definitely uh, goes a little bit more of the serious route. And it had a unique story. I would rate this a uh, thumbs up. Um, if you watched it, let me know what you thought. Please comment and we can talk about it. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you get all of our videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay spooky.